What's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. So now we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series. We have Plo Koon here. And Plo Koon is a Jedi. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go into this bio, but he is a Jedi. Um, I do think I remember him from one of the movies. Um... So yeah, it's cool. I, I definitely like having Jedi's because, you know, I kind of want to be able to put together like an order of Jedi's display. So this is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get him busted open so we can get a better look at him. We'll compare him to some other Jedi's and other Star Wars figures. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working out of boxes and out of storage units, so it's really hard. I would prefer to be able to do a lot more comparisons into other toy lines, but I just, I've really got to work in the confines of small things. I can't have a lot of stuff at once, so uh, I do apologize for that, because I'm sure a lot of you like to see other comparisons. And that's normally what I do. There's been a lot of changes over the last few months, so, alright. Yeah, we're getting one of those with some soft goods, and these soft goods, I guess, I want to say they're okay, but they just look very, like, arts and crafty, like something that, you know, it's, it's very generic looking. Wow, that's a big old hood. I didn't realize he had this big old hood. It's, it's kind of cool. He's got some uneven legs, so he's hard to stand. Gonna assume he's left handed. Okay, I'm on. There we are. Ooh, <laughs> good. There's some more. I was worried that elbow wasn't gonna move much more. It's, apparently, it's a double jointed elbow. So you just can't really see it under all the garb. Trying to get this dude to stand up properly, but he is a tough one. And when they have these loose fitting, uh, you know, it does help for articulation, but it also kind of makes it a pain in the ass because you're constantly catching on it and tugging on it and moving your figure. But yeah, he, he actually looks pretty outstanding. I'm going to admit, he does look really good. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could tell you what species he is or whatever, but uh, he's from Doran. A Keldor, right, even, from Doran. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, I, as much as I love Star Wars, man, I don't go that in-depth with the Star Wars universe as to where and how and everything else. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I have no comment on that. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and look at some other Jedi to go along with <laughs> Plo Koon. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I could be wrong. So, obviously, we'll just go ahead and start. And I don't know where his lightsaber is at. It's so small. It's got to be in the bottom of the box somewhere. But, you know, you got Yoda. Oh, why can't I think of this guy's name? And the other one that I'm going to compare to, I can't remember his name either. It's been a while since I watched Clone Wars and all the other animated series, so I don't even remember this guy's name. Um, but he is a Jedi, so that counts. 
along with this young man here. Okay. If you know the names of these people, go ahead and say it in the comments. And <laughs> now this one's a funny one because, like, I can't think of her name. I, I keep wanting to say Bo-Katan, but I know that's not right. Because uh, she's from the Mandalorian, and is actually a Mandalorian, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I don't understand why I can't think of her name. But we're going to be getting an actual, this is from the animated series, so we're going to be getting a, a live-action one soon of Rosario Dawson, so that's pretty cool. Um, I can't think of her damn name. Ahsoka, maybe? Ahsoka? That could be right. Um, Ahsoka Tan, or God dang it, Ahsoka Tan, something like that. Okay, anyway, moving on, we have the old version of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Wish I had Mace Windu. I need a Mace Windu. Definitely. Like, of all the Jedi, I really need a Mace Windu. Um, and then we have Luke here. And not just Mace Windu, there's another one that I really want to get. Um, oh, I can't think of his name, but he was, uh, he's the one who, who taught Obi-Wan. Uh, I can't think of his damn name either. <laughs> like I said, I love Star Wars, but like remembering everything and every little detail, that's not for me, man. I got Marvel to keep me occupied with that, but I do still love the property. I love the figures, so we're going to talk about them the best we can. Um, and oh well actually before I finish that I'm going to go ahead with some fallen Jedi we have Kylo Ren here you know which is one of his better ones and of course we can't talk about that without talking about Darth Vader Pretty slick. Yeah. And that's probably going to be it. And I guess, I guess we'll pull him out again, the Mandalorian, because we he's rocking the Darksaber, and that kind of makes him like a kind of like a Jedi. <laughs> a kind of like a Jedi. Yeah, that's what we're going to say. <laughs> so, whatever, man. He's got a freaking laser sword that counts. All right, that's it, man, for Plo Koon. <laughs> He's just going to join the ranks now, so that'll be it. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this video and what you think of the review. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. You guys already know the drill. You will catch all my latest videos. I'm sure there's a notification bell if you want to hit that, but, you know, if you're subscribed, you'll still see my videos, so I don't care either way. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.